Uh, welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about NIST Cloud Computing Reference Architecture. Already we know the architectural design of cloud, how we are going to design a cloud. That is, we have seen some basic requirements are there, such as some essential goals to be accomplished in designing a cloud architecture. And now we, we came to know what are the layers we are going to have in cloud computing architecture and how we are going to keep each and every layer that we have known. Now, now we are going for NIST. NIST is a National Institute of Standards and Technology. From the name you can understand that they will be having some set of guidelines and standards. With that standards, we are going to have some cloud computing reference architecture. See, this is a cloud computing reference architecture by an NIST. It consists of five components. The com are five building blocks. The components one is a cloud consumer. We can see in the leftmost top of the corner is a cloud consumer and next one is a cloud auditor which performs some functions of security audit, privacy impact audit, performance audit. Next here comes the cloud provider. Here the cloud provider is here you can see the service players that is IAS, PAS, SAS. Next to the service layers we have resource abstraction and control layer. Next to it we have a physical resource layer. Next we will be seeing cloud service management. There are some functions, business support, provisioning, configuration, portability, interoperability, security, privacy. Next come for the another building blocks that is called cloud broker. There we have some functions, service intermediation, service aggregation, service arbitrage. Here comes cloud carrier. These are the five building blocks which is used for an cloud computing reference architecture. With this uh, five building blocks, we are going to have an architectural design of cloud which will be useful for the consumers and the providers. And the, with this block diagram, we will be having how the consumer will interact with the cloud provider and the, how the consumer will get the <coughs> resources of cloud services. There are five actors we are going to see. The first actor is cloud consumer and second actor is cloud provider. Third one is cloud auditor. Fourth one is cloud broker. Fifth one is cloud carrier. Each and every actor plays an important role in designing a cloud architecture and it has an yeah, each and every actor will perform some operations and some process. Let, let us see one by one. This is a communication path between each and every actor. I have given for five actors, that is cloud consumer, cloud broker, cloud auditor, cloud provider and cloud carrier. You can see the communication, how the cloud consumer can directly consume its service from the cloud provider as well as the cloud consumer can have the service of cloud provider with the help of cloud broker. The cloud auditor is, is the one who is going to audit the facilities of cloud consumers and cloud providers that is the security and he will be testing some of the auditings and it is done in an auditor. The cloud carrier is nothing but we already know what is mean by carrier. Carrier is something it, is to, it should carry from one place to another place. So it, the resources can be carried with the help of cloud carrier. Here comes cloud consumer. So initially we should know who is the cloud consumer. It may be a single person. For example, a single person can be a cloud consumer. He can consume the cloud services from the cloud provider or it can be an organization which consists of n number of employees. They can be implementing the cloud infrastructure and they can use the cloud services and well, the main role of the cloud consumers is they will, show, they will be seeing the service catalogs of the provided by the cloud providers and they will be picking up the services which are needed by them and it can be used for them with the types of billing will be sent to them. This is an example for the cloud consumer. How the cloud consumer will get the service from the cloud consumer? Provider, you can see 
cloud consumer is directly giving a request for the cloud broker cloud broker will have two types of cloud provider one and cloud provider two with the combining the services okay cloud broker will get the service some of the listed service from cloud provider one and some of the listed service from cloud provider two and thus two set of listed service can be given to the cloud consumer here we come we came to know that the cloud consumer is not able to know the provider one and two he is only communicating with the cloud broker and the cloud broker intend to communicate with the cloud provider one and two and give the services back to the cloud consumer this is an another example where the cloud co consumer will have a service level agreement with the cloud provider for the set of services needed by the cloud consumer whereas the cloud provider is setting an another set of services to the cloud carrier that is the cloud consumer will give the requirements that uh, one by one there are list of requirement and list of services needed by the cloud provider the cloud provider will be having some set of services some set of services will not be having by the cloud provider so in in turn the cloud provider what he will do he will get an service level agreement with the cloud carrier for some resources which is not available with the cloud provider he will get some resources from the cloud carrier and he will give the same resources to the cloud consumer this is illustrated in this diagram that is service level like you can see here the cloud provider will have an agreement sla with cloud carrier to have a secured encrypted connection that this ensures the services are available for the consumer at consistent level to fulfill the service request this is an another example where the cloud consumer is directly connected to the cloud provider in turn both them are connected with the cloud auditor we already know the auditor the auditor main role is auditing the information testing the information and traces the information this evaluation will relate to the operations and security of cloud service implementation the cloud auditor interacts with both the cloud consumer and provider so here there will be a benefit because the auditor will know how the cloud provider is getting some of the serv services and giving to the consumer where the consumer knows that the auditor will able to know whether the consumer is getting all the listed services from the cloud provider because the auditor main role is to audit whether all each and every services requested by the consumer is given by a provider next we can see what are the services available to cloud consumers we already know there are three layers we have implemented in an architectural design that is first layer is infrastructure as a layer, service next one is a platform as a service next one is a software as a service so in the infrastructure as a service what are the things are provided by the cloud provider to the cloud consumer we are going to see we can see is storage is our set, first set of service which is given next computing next platform hosting next cdn next backup and recovery next service management these are the services which will be given to the cloud consumers when they are adapting for infrastructure facilities from the cloud provider whereas if they are adapting the platform facilities to the cloud providers they will be having some set of some set of services which will be, will be given for the cloud consumer this is business intelligence database application development development and testing integration whereas some of the cloud consumers will be using and they will be giving a request for the sas that is software as a service that is in the application layer so they will be getting some set of services that is hr services erp building services sales services crm services collaborations content management email and office productivity social networks financials and document management so there are three types of services which give has, has been given to the cloud consumers from the cloud providers first one if some of the consumer is getting an infrastructure service from the cloud providers so what are the we are already seen what are the services will be given by the ias providers and how the billing is done 
because for each and every cloud services the billing is done so in ias consumers they will be accessing the virtual computers network attached storage network components processor resources and other computing resources so there, there will be some set of software which is used to which is given for the consumers to use only the infrastructure as a service for for their cloud services and it has been built based on the amount and duration of hardware resources consumed because it mainly deals with the hardware of the system and number of ip addresses they have used and number of data they have been stored and how, what how, what are the bandwidth they have used and cpu how many system they have used and n number of employees and according to their billing section will be generated and it has been passed to the cloud consumers and they will be paying for the thing which they have used that is the main advantage of the cloud computing that is pay what you use next one is a platform as a computer con pla platform as a service consumers so some of the consumers will get only the paas they can be utilizing the tools execution resources development ides made available by cloud providers I using these resources they can test some softwares they can develop and they can manage and they can deploy and configure many applications that are hosted on the cloud most probably the paas is a readily available development software there will be some software which is readily available which can be used by the consumers for their research oriented or their service oriented and for their uses so this is an a readily available system that is if some consumer is using a paa system the consumer is need of some readily available set of softwares so the paas are built based on the processing databases storages network resources consumed and for the duration of platforms used next last that is the third one is an application some consumers will need of an application layer that is they will be consuming the cloud resources said saas that is software as a service that is an this is another way called as an end product where there is no need of testing there were no needs of any deployment or development it is completely a developed software which will be given to the consumer by the provider and the consumer can directly use it we call it as an end user and how the billing is done in sas consumer that is the billing is based on the number of end user is using an application or a service and the time of use and the network bandwidth consumed and for the amount of volume of data stored next one is a cloud provider the cloud provider is a main role who is going to give service to an consumer a consumer can be a single person or an organization a cloud provider manages the infrastructure needed for providing the cloud services the, the cloud provider also runs a software to provide services and organize the service delivery to the cloud consumers through networks that is through networks in the form of intranet or internet the cloud provider is able to give his service to the cloud consumers there are some activities of cloud providers this of some activities or services given by the cloud providers to the cloud consumers the first one is service deployment next one is service orchestration third one is cloud service management fourth one is security and fifth one is privacy service deployment we have seen three layers of services if the if we are going to give the three layers of services to the customers through the internet and we have deployed some models in that models we can give the service to the customers the first model is we can give the our service as a private cloud and public cloud and hybrid cloud and community cloud whereas in the public cloud you have no you have no that there is a so if if you can have you can take an example that there are some 10 employees in an organization a and 10 in an 10 employees in organization b using a cloud providers they can use a public cloud if there is they don't want any privacy if they want a privacy of the project they can use for the private cloud and if they uh, we both the companies need some privacy they can have for the hybrid cloud 
and both the communities they belong to the same community they can go for the community club next one is a service orchestration the service orchestration implies the coordination management of cloud infrastructures and arrangement to offer optimized capabilities of cloud services that is here comes the consumer is need of some services the services should be in an optimized manner so it is an easy of use the consumers should not get confused of the services from the cloud services so the optimization plays a major role in service orchestration next one is the cloud service management if this activity involves all service related function needed to manage and operate the service requested or proposed by the cloud consumers so the each and every cloud consumer may be a person or an organization will be giving a service request one by one so every service request should be answered by a cloud provider because they have to provide service in all aspects so the cloud service management is the main role to manage the cloud consumers related to the service and with the cloud providers whereas next comes security which is the critical function in cloud critical function is cloud computing spans all layers in the reference architecture security must be enforced end to end we have to give the security for the consumers at what time they will coming in in front and they will be getting a service and what time they will be going out by relieving the services so the security is a major role we have to provide for the each and consumers and if in an organization there will be a number of people some of the people will be working in a morning shift and some of the people will be working in an evening shift so the data has to be stored and each and every shift of person working that should they should, the data should be given an individual care and the security is a vital role in this cloud providers next one is privacy the privacy in cloud must be ensured at different levels such as user privacy data privacy authorization and authentication and it may also have adequate assurance level since cloud allows resources to be shared privacy challenges are the big concern for the consumers using cloud because some of the consumers will be having they have to store the data and the data should be privacy in some of the consumers and some of the organization the usage of cloud they will be having some set uh, using some cloud services or they will be some getting some cloud services that services should be in a privacy manner because the other organization or the competitive organization should not know where the, the same organization is taking this service and they are developing a software so it leads to competition so the privacy is also very important which should be provided by the cloud providers next one is cloud auditor here we comes a third building blocks that is cloud auditor the cloud auditor is a a play a role intermediate between the cloud consumers and the provider so consumer will be giving and several request and each and every request will be responded by the cloud provider the request may be in form of services and the cloud provider will be giving a frequent services so the cloud auditor the main role is he will audit here whether the cloud provider is giving all the service requests which are asked by the cloud consumers the auditor will examine the services provided by the cloud provider for its high security controls privacy and performance and so on so the cloud auditor will be validating each and every review of the consumers with the cloud providers next is a cloud broker so initially we know the broker is the one who will be satisfying a consumer with his requirements for example consumer will have some set of requirements some various requirements the broker the main role of the broker is to he should find a solution for the consumer which will be satisfying with all his requirements whereas in the cloud broker the consumer will be asking for several set of resources and services the broker intend he will get the services from several cloud providers and he will be providing to the cloud consumers so the broker will also negotiate and manage the relationship between the cloud providers and consumers 
it the, uh, the main functions of the broker, cloud broker is service intermediation service aggregation service arbitrage here comes the cloud broker services the service intermediation here the cloud broker will improve some of the specific capabilities and pro produce some value added service to the cloud consumers that is intermediation so he will, he will be giving some extra value added so initially we know we can take an example if you are going for a new band with connection with a band with or internet connection with airtel and act and hathway or and so on so each and every one will be explain their plans plan a plan b plan c and they will be telling that there are some value added services which will be given for plan a if you get a plan a we will be getting some value added functions if you get up for a plan b we will be having some value added function if you get a plan c you uh, will be getting some value added functions. whereas this service intermediation will also get some value added functions for the cloud consumers and the cloud brokers will be explaining the importance of the value added functions next to the service aggregation the service aggregation is nothing but aggregation is combining so combining one or more services to the cloud consumers whereas in the service arbitrage it is also the combining but the thing is the consumer can select usually if you go for a dds connection in that we are able to select some of the channels which are needed by them that is called an example for a service arbitrage where is service aggregation they will be having some set of uh, platform one which consists of five tamil channels five telugu channels five english channels and platform two so the, the services are combined by the cloud providers it is coming at a service aggregation when the services are combined in the consumer end we call it as service arbitrage next one the cloud carrier the carrier is nothing but we know the carrier is something someone who is going to transport some services from one places to another places in this year the cloud carrier is going to transport the cloud service between cloud consumer and cloud provider the carrier offers network access for the consumers by providing telecommunication links how we are going to use the cloud services in which environment we are going to use cloud services in which which platform we can use the cloud services in laptops computers tablets and smartphones with their carrier is the main responsibility to carry the cloud service from the consumers and to and to get from the provider and to give the services to the cloud provider usually the transport agent is an entity offering telecommunication carrier to a business organization to access resources the cloud provider will set up an service level agreement with the cloud carrier to ensure the carrier transport is consistent with the level of service level agreement provided by the consumers because some organization needed some set of services only for their initial development of the project if the project is going to for a duration of 3 years they will be having some asked for some set of web services for first to one year so the cloud provider will have a service agreement with the cloud carrier you should give the services to the cloud consumers as that is the cloud uh, consumer we call it as an organization for one year so the service level agreement may play a major role between the cloud carriers and the cloud provider the cloud carrier provide the secure and dedicated high speed links with the cloud provider and between the different cloud entities so here come we have seen the five building blocks or five components of nist cloud reference architecture with this five blocks they are going to design an nist cloud reference architecture where the consumer and the provider will be interacting and they will be getting the cloud services in various platforms and we have seen each and every building blocks will have some set of services and that services can be given to the consumer through some channels okay